Alright, so we have been using some uh, increment, increments and decrements in our variables here. We know how to increment but increment it by a 2 or decrement it by 2. We can even multiply it by 2 each time. We can double our variable each time. Or we can even have it each time. So we can so I'm making a variable called C. Let's say it equals 7. And uh, let's say C is equal to C uh, plus 5. Okay. Well, and if we output the value of capital C, we expect to see 12. Okay. Now, let's. I'm going to show you a shortcut here. So here's something new. The plus equals here. So I have C plus equals five. Now the it's the same exact thing. It does the same exact operation. It'll keep our lives maybe a little easier. Here, it's the it does the same exact thing. I could also use minus equal. This will just subtract five from the value C from its current value. In this case, we expect to get two. Okay, we can also multiply by five here. So we can take the current value and multiply it by five, and it stuffs in the thirty-five here. And the same thing with division here. In this case, we expect to see a uh, one. So those are shortcuts here. So just a quick review. Times equals five is the same thing as equals C times five. This is the same exact operation here. If we did this operation here, we got thirty five here. It's the same exact operation as saying times equals five, because we multiply the current variable by five here. So behind this behind this equal sign here we can say we can use this addition subtraction multiplication or division here in our case and we can change this to whatever we want here two and then we can just change it whatever we want here but now I want to show you one more thing plus equals one here if we're gonna just add one to our variable or subtract one to a variable, there is an, another shortcut. And it's actually pretty common, believe it or not. It's going to be the plus plus operator here. So let me show you. This C plus equals one here. All this does here is uh, increment the variable by one unit. So in this case, it was seven. We add one to it, and now we're going to get eight. The shortcut here is going to be plus plus C plus plus and hence that's where the the name of the language came from is the plus plus operator and we it's the same exact thing same thing with C minus minus and that's how we get our uh, we can you can increment it by one or or subtract it by one here it's, and this only works if we're going to add one or subtract one to it. But we can also use the plus equals here. And it does the same exact thing. And we can go back to our old way here. Equals to C plus one here. And um, this, this way will probably be common in um, other languages, but it does the same thing here, so you might be seeing me use the plus equal operator a lot, and now we know what it is, but we, we can also know what the C++ or the C++ minus minus operator does. It'll increment the unit by one, or um, it'll decrement the unit by one. So, that's it. I hope this was easy. It's one more lesson down. And we're getting closer and closer to getting into some cool stuff here.